I wasn't unduly violent, but if there was any trouble, I could deal with it. Uh, for instance, at the 211 Club, one particular night, uh, as we w went through the door, a load of people were uh, uh, coming out, fellas and girls, and I went, hold up, hold up, what's this all about? And a couple of them went to, went to shape up to me, and, uh, and Mick said, Lee, let them go for it, let them go, because he's thinking the place getting s smashed up inside. And so I let them go, these two particular guys, and as they went out the door, I walked in, I said, what's it all about? What's going on here, you know? And, and they said, this poor little about a 17-year-old girl, she's laying on the floor, quite sobbing, crying. One of these, uh, well, I, I, won't, I can't say the word, what well, I felt about them, but they smashed her on the chin, like, yeah, like a man with it, another man, and broke her jaw, so I was really angry, as you can imagine. Was there a moment where you thought, I'd rather call the police and tell them. No, well, um, the police have got a job to do, and, and if you're giving them aggravation on their patch, they're going to get the hump with you, and so you try and keep them all sweet. So Mick and I went outside. These two, two guys that was in the side street, they said, come on in, wait. They said, come over, come over. And I opened the boot door, and they got out, shot pickaxe handle, slapping the pickaxe handle in his hands like this, you know? But I pulled out something uh, which is more than an English. Equaliser. I said, drop it. And he went, oh, I don't want none of that, he said. I said, oh, don't you, you know? So I made him drop the stick. And then I just put one in his shoulder and let him have it. And he dropped, like, a sack of potatoes. And I looked round and the other guy's dancing around with me. I put a cop in front of back, threw him through this edge into my garden. And got, as he's spun round, he's face down. And as he got up, I put one behind his ear and blew his ear off. So that was the end of that little scenario. But I thought, well, you know, they won't do that, knock any little girls out in the future. And uh, so I've, I've felt justified in, in doing what I did.